Hi, Maliti Vijay Kumar welcoming you once again to Mean Man Cooks. In today's episode, let's see a Ulaval Charu Horse Gram Curry. Let's see the ingredients required. The water extracted from boiling 100 grams of horse gram. A small lemon sized ball of tamarind soaked in water. 3 red chilies, 3 green chilies, a few coriander leaves, curry leaves, finely chopped garlic. For tempering, a teaspoon of mustard and a teaspoon of jeera, salt to taste, oil for the tempering. We have taken about 100 grams of horse gram, washed it 3-4 times, soaked it overnight in about 3 cups of water. Following morning, pressure cook it for about 4 whistles and lower the flame and cook it for about 5 to 7 minutes. After the pressure is released, drain off the water from the cooked horse gram. This water is used to make the Ulaval Charu. Click on the link above for the horse gram sundal where we have shown you how to pressure cook the horse gram. So now let's light the gas and temper the Ulaval Charu. Yeah, the pan is getting slightly hot. Let's add about 3 spoons of oil. Let's add the mustard. It's beginning to crackle. So let's add the jeera as well. The curry leaves. We will just break the red chilies into two and add. Similarly the split green chilies and the garlic pieces. Just saute it for a minute and add the horse gram water. We had soaked the tamarind, now we have extracted it and we will add the pulp to the uh, simmering curry. Now we are adding the tamarind extract to the simmering curry. Let us give it a stir. This has to simmer. Right now, this is the consistency. I will show you. It is pretty dilute. It has to reduce to almost 50 to 60 percent. It should be a nice thick rasa. This Ulval Charu can be stored in your refrigerator for a few months. It tastes just as good as it did on day one. Only remember not to season it with onions that uh, hasn't got such a long shelf life. Husk grams are good for our health, rich in proteins. Only thing they generate a lot of heat in our body. So don't have it too frequently. And you could always have a little fresh cream along with this curry to offset the heat. Horses are given this. That is why they are so slim and trim. So we too can maintain a good figure if we had this. You could have it in a sundal form, in a salad form and a vada as well. I will show you how thick it is. It needs to thicken much more. At this point of time, we can check out on the salt. Uh, remember we added salt while pressure cooking the horse gram as well. We added a teaspoon to the curry. Initially it is very dilute so if you had tasted it in the beginning it might have appeared a little less. When it thickens it should balance but you can always add a pinch if required. This is not uh, used on our rice like uh, the regular rasam. Where, it's, where the rice is only floating in the rasam. This you add just a teaspoon to your rice. That is more than ample uh, because it is a very thick paste that we will be making of the horse gram rasam. Needs to thicken a little more. 
probably a century ago this was a long drawn process they they never had pressure cookers or gas stoves they had to use only the regular firewood chula this uh, horse gram used to take very long to cook so they would put it on the chula overnight and allow it to cook for almost 15 20 hours after extracting the uh, liquid alone they would season it and again cook it for another 10 12 hours today it's all just in minutes there are several versions of preparing this ulwal charu some people add a little rice flour to it to thicken it uh, i personally prefer not to add rice flour because it brings down the shelf life of the curry when you taste it and if you find that the spice is not too much fine because this is not meant to be a spicy curry at all despite that you want a little spice you can add half a teaspoon of pepper powder because it has the added benefit of cooling that's also optional you want to add pepper powder you can go ahead when it's simmering do not add the coriander leaves because that can also reduce the shelf life of the curry if you're storing it in the fridge the day you're going to consume it when you heat it that is the right time to add the chopped coriander leaves they give out a good flavor and your curry also doesn't turn bad it's optional you want to add it or you can delete it but it tastes good as it's thickening you can see a little sticking on to the sides keep removing it so that it improves the intensity of the curry if you're not able to remove it just twirl the pan it gets easier to remove the spice it's nice and thick now time to switch off your gas don't make it a solid mass because when it comes to room temperature it thickens further it smells really good now to know when to switch off your gas just turn your ladle you should be able to draw a line and it should not come together so that's the right consistency this goes well with steamed rice i've never had it with idli or dosa um, no harm in trying my rice is not yet ready so i'll taste the curry anyways i'm having it with the garlic because the garlic will taste really good i know that tastes as good as it smells really yummy this is the basic ulwal charu you could add vegetables like maybe your brinjal alu drumstick or lady's fingers you could add boiled eggs to it you know something we can even make a biryani with it we'll soon bring we'll soon be bringing the ulwal charu biryani So keep following me in man cooks. I'm sure this has motivated you to cook. Do try it and give your feedback. For the recipe click on minman.com for all your non-veg requirements as well. Click on minman.com and place your orders. Uh do follow us on fit that is Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'm sure you enjoyed it. as much as i enjoyed showing it to you thank you